Hello, students. I just wanted to welcome you to this short semester. Um, our class is a hybrid course. You're going to be doing a lot of work online. And we meet on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 1230 to 145. I'm going to be posting announcements and all of that. So what I wanted to do in this short little welcome video is to make sure that you know what you need to be doing immediately and you know how the website works here. So when you log in to our course, you're going to see uh, on the home page at the top, you see our class, you know, we start today, October 7th, and it's going to run through December 8th, but this is the very last day. Our final is actually going to be with in that week before December 8th, but we're, I'm going to be posting announcements on all of that. So <clears throat> immediately when you get into the course, you know, just know that there's some things that you need to be focusing on. You have to pretty much do work every day in this class. It's an eight week session. So each week is really two weeks of work. So from the announcement section is where you're going to click on there to, to get updated announcements for the class. If you have notifications turned on, when I post an announcement, <clears throat> it will be emailed to you. So to your email account, or, you know, if you have it on your phone, it'll pop up on your phone. So to set notifications, you go to my account over here, you click on it and you just click notifications. And when you do that, you'll see all the little settings that you can set and just have them set so that when announcements are made, they'll be emailed to you. So you, you get them without actually having to click on announcements. But in the meantime, just get in the habit of, of clicking here, you know, just to see if there's any updates or whatnot. The other thing is that pretty much everything dealing with our learning resources and your assignments is located in the module section right here. All right. So we're going to go into that in a minute. I have the grade link over here in the left panel open. So you can click on that and keep track of your grades. <clears throat> I left the Zoom link open just in case we have optional Zoom meetings. Um, and I'll be talking to you all more about that. I'm sure you used to Zoom already for the last semester or two, you know, with COVID and whatnot. Um, so let's go into modules. So I can show you what's in here. And you do not see this module at the top yet because I do not have it published, but this is where our final exam link will be. And you can see here right now, I have it set on Friday, December 4th. And that gives us about a day leeway just in case there's an issue with anybody trying to take it. So right now the, the due date for the final will be December 4th. Our unit test, which are basically what would be an in-class test, will be taken using Respondus. And you can see I put some due dates here. Already October 19th, we have to have our unit one test. Um, unit one is going to cover chapters one, four, and five. And I'm going to be making some videos on the PowerPoints for those and posting them in the chapter modules, which I'll show you in a second. And so you can see the tentative due dates, October 19th, test two, November 2nd, test three, November 16th. So it's very compacted here because we have an eight week session. The first three unit test uh, our closed book requires Respondus lockdown browser. The fourth unit test, I, I make an open book test at the very end. And of course, we'll talk more about that in the coming weeks. As you scroll down, you'll see a folder or module that contains a whole bunch of links that have really nothing to do with our class specifically. But if you had questions on how to do something, how do I get into Lola, my email and all of that? These are school links that I left in here. So if you have a problem, you can search these links with your you know, school accounts and whatnot. 
<clears throat> now, as far as office hours are concerned, right now, um, we're, I've been doing Zoom hours on uh, requests, and my hours have been on Mondays and Tuesdays. I might have to change that because of our class is now starting, and we have to meet at 1230 on Tuesdays and Thursdays. But nonetheless, there's you know nothing really here that you need. Uh, we'll be talking about that in person, and I'll be posting announcements on that. In the welcome start here module, um, you can see the office hours again. I'm going to have to change those hours. But if you click on important documents, when you click on that, it'll bring you to the page where you can get uh, the department syllabus. More importantly, my addendum to the syllabus, which is pretty much my rules of how the class is going to run. And I'm going to basically explain a lot of that now. I put up a tentative unit test schedule, which basically are the due dates that we just looked at in the unit test module. And then this is just like a little welcome letter. Hey, my name's Professor Russell. Here are some things that I think you should do to be successful at learning anatomy and physiology. Just a little letter I put together some time back. So let's go back to modules. And in the welcome start here module, this link right here, Respondus Information and Download link. If you don't already have Respondus on your computer, you click on that link and there are some instructions in there with a download link. You need to put Respondus Lockdown Browser on your computer. Now, before this semester started, and really before about two or three weeks ago, everybody with Chromebooks could not use Respondus. Now, we have a feature in Respondus where you are able to use your Chromebook. So I'm pretty sure most students now will be able to use Respondus without having any trouble. But if you do have trouble, you need to let me know immediately. So let me show you how you're going to know if your Respondus is working. If you scroll down where it says do the following assignments now, that means well, that means now. I need you all to do these three assignments immediately. This lets me know that you're, you're participating in the class. All right. So it's a little contract. I know I'm in a hybrid course, you know, here. I know I need to log in and do work on the computer every day. Just some simple little questions. The peer, peer introduction assignment is just what it says. Just, it's a discussion, little board. You log in, you hit, uh, technically you have to hit submit assignment to open it, which is kind of strange, but it'll open it. Just type in there, hi, my name is so-and-so. I'm in this major. You don't have to write a page. Just write a few sentences. It just lets me know that you're doing something. And I want this done today or into tomorrow or whatnot. Just do them immediately. Now, once you download Respondus, get it on your computer, or if you already have it on your computer, you come into the welcome module, you click on this respond as check test. And if you can open it, it's only a couple of questions. You know, what school are we in? What's my name? You know, Professor Thomas Russell, whatever. If you can, it doesn't count for any points. This one doesn't count for points. It, I know it says three points, but it goes to a section in the grade book that doesn't count for anything. I just, I just have this in here to see if, if your respondus is working. And if it is, that means you're going to be able to do the unit test appropriately when it comes time to do it. If you can't open this and complete it, like I said, just email me. All right. Here's some information about Wiley Plus. And Wiley Plus is going to be our homework site. And you're going to have to pay for the Wiley Plus code. I need you to do this today. We have a very short semester. If you don't get your Wiley Plus code, you're not going to be able to do your assignments, your homework assignments. So here's our chapter one module. I have all of our chapter modules set up the same way. At the top, 
you'll see homework assignments. So everything's gonna be from within Canvas. However, in order to do the homework assignments that say chapter quiz or chapter test, you have to have registered for Wiley Plus. So to get Wiley Plus and thus the, the ebook, the, the ebook version of our textbook. Come in here and click on this adaptive practice link. The first, which is a Wiley Plus link. The first time you click on a Wiley Plus link and you're not registered for Wiley Plus yet, it'll take you to a page where you're gonna be prompted to set up an account with an email. You'll then be emailed a four digit code that you have to go back into that page and type the code in. Sometimes that email goes to your spam folder. Some students can't find it. They say, I didn't get my email, my code emailed to me. So check your clutter or spam folder sometimes. But nonetheless, when you get the email from Wiley with the, with the code in it, you then go back to that little registration page where you were and type the code in. That sets up the account. Now, from there, after you type the code in, which I can't do it because it's just, if I click on this, it'll just take me to that assignment. But once you put that code in, it'll take you to a page where you can purchase a Wiley Plus code. So you purchase the Wiley Plus code which I think now the codes are only gonna be by semester. So you're gonna to have to purchase a code for AMP one, unless they didn't switch it over yet. I just heard they're switching that over. And then when we go to AMP two, we're gonna to have to purchase a code for, again, for AMP two. Now, if you see in there where you could buy a year long code or something like that, go ahead and buy it. It means that we're not, starting that new process till next fall. But nonetheless, you have to register the code that you purchase. Once you do that, you never have to go back, you'll never go back into to like the Wiley server. Also, do not go to amazon.com or use book sites or uh, Try to buy your code somewhere else because never go to wileyplus.com. Never go to wiley.com. You don't have to go anywhere but within our Canvas site. If you go to these other places, it's going to cause some, some problems. So just come in here and click on this adaptive practice link and then start the process. Follow the online instructions in order to set the account up and purchase your code. Now, once all that is done, you'll have access to all of your homework assignments. So our homework assignments include the graded homework assignments that count for a grade on your, on your grade, our chapter discussions, which technically are not Wiley assignments, but you'll have a chapter discussion question. Just answer the question. You don't have to write a book. I'm not looking for a book. I just wanna see that, yep, I read a little bit about what that question is, and here's some of the information that the question is asking, all right? Everybody gets the 10 points for this if you do the assignment. So just do your reading, then come in here and start doing your homework assignments. So you're gonna have a chapter discussion, you're gonna have a chapter quiz, which is a Wiley assignment. That's why you have to be registered for Wiley Plus and you're gonna have a chapter test for each chapter that we cover. So this is what your homework area is gonna look like. And I'm gonna go into the assignment area in a minute, which you don't see, and I'm gonna show you how our grade breaks down in a second. So these are your homework assignments. Now, I also have in our chapter modules, chapter resources. A few of the chapters have these learning matrices. I didn't make them for all of the chapters, I stopped making them. You can look at that if you want. I don't think it's all that important anymore, but um, you can look at it and you'll see some learning objectives in there. I basically typed out the learning objectives at the front of each chapter. But what are the most important links in our learning resources, chapter resources? Well, the PowerPoints are gonna be important. 
as I start making our, our lecture videos, I'm going to lecture from these PowerPoints. Also within the chapter resource section, you'll see either something that says a chapter notes packet. Sometimes it'll say an outline. Anything that I have here on, in the module that says chapter notes or outline, those are important. All right. Um, those are the documents that I pretty much get my unit test questions from. The unit test questions do not come from these test banks from Wiley. These are here to help you study. Oh, let me also say this. All of your, every single assignment in this course are open book. So go read, look up the answers to all the questions. The only assignments that are not open book are your unit test, at least the first three, and the final exam. The fourth unit test is open book. So everything in our course is open book, except for these three test assignments and this final exam. All right. So this is how all of your chapter modules are set up. You, this is the old PowerPoint. You won't see this because I don't have it published. You also will see the ebook chapter. In order to access the ebook online, you're going to have to be registered for Wiley Plus again. All right. So that's a chapter module. Now, our unit one test covers chapter one, chapter four, and you can see that the module set up the same way, and chapter five, all right? So we have these first three chapters, one, four, and five is gonna be on our unit one test. Now, I need you to make sure you do these assignments, download Respondus, try to do the Respondus check test. I need you to click on the adaptive practice link to start registering for your Wiley Plus account so you can start into these modules. The problem with our class right now is this. Our, the, the mini session starts today, but our class is Tuesday and Thursday. So tomorrow is October 8th. There's no class tomorrow because it's the LCTCS conference. So the school does not have classes tomorrow, so we can't meet then. Also, in the academic calendar, the fall break starts on October 10th, Saturday, and goes through next Tuesday, which is October 13th. So we can't hold class on Tuesday. So the first time that I see you, on campus will be October 15th. So we're missing a lot of time here at the beginning of our short semester. So what I'm gonna do later today is I'm gonna make a video, a lecture video on the chapter one PowerPoint. And in the next day or so, I'm also gonna make the one for chapter four. Hopefully before I meet you, I will have our chapter five lecture video completed as well. And I'll, my idea for our lecture time as we meet for class is gonna be more of a question and answer to answer your questions. And I may pull up the PowerPoint and go over a few sections that I think are more difficult for you to learn on your own. Because we will not have enough time for me to say every single word in class in order to finish this semester. That's why I'm, I'm gonna start making these lecture videos. So your job is to watch the videos, go through your PowerPoints, go through your notes, and complete all of your open book homework assignments in a timely fashion. All right? Now also, before I end this short video, the due dates for X, uh, chapter one uh, activity assignments. I put for October 18th. Well, technically that's the very last day you could do it. Do not wait for these due dates to do your assignments. You need to do these assignments on a daily basis. I left them open until the 18th for one, four and five 
because our unit test on 1, 4, and 5 is due on October 19th. So it will not do you any good to do your homework assignments on October 18th when you're having a test the following day. Those are just the hard deadlines as to when the assignments close. Oh, I gotta change this. I just noticed that, it's not done. Um, when the assignments close. So the assignments close on that day. Technically chapter one should be done by Friday. All the assignments in chapter one. Chapter four should be done by next Tuesday. Chapter five should be done by next weekend. But notice I put the due dates for the 18th. All right, now, the adaptive practice assignments do not count for any points. These are practice assignments. They, it's basically an assignment that throws you up random questions concerning the material in the chapter. So you read, you look up the answers and answer the question. It doesn't matter if you get them right, you get them wrong, you keep getting them right, you might get some wrong. It's practice work, all right? Just practice and reading the book, answering questions. Now, the last thing that I wanna go over is the breakdown of your grade. So I'm gonna show you a section that you will not see. All of our chapter discussions and quizzes will go, assignments will go into this module in, in the grade book. This module with all the discussions and quizzes, all of them collectively together is worth 10% of your grade. All of these assignments are all open book, 10% of your grade. All of the chapter homework test assignments, which are in the chapter modules, is worth 10% of your grade. 20% of your grade comes from open book assignments. Now, all of our unit tests, unit one, two, three, and four, which count the most of your grade, count as 55% of your grade. Your final, which is gonna be taken on Friday, December 4th, is worth the last 25% of your grade. So that's the breakdown of your grade. Canvas is set up to calculate your grade for you as you complete assignments. So the running grade that you will see, the average in your grade book, is going to be the correct grade as you complete assignments. All right, so that's about it. And if you ever need me and we're outside of class, you always email me.